Xiaomi Mi 7 produces 1 fan 48 heartbeat. Yo 100 kmhh in 1.98 seconds. Top speed 350 kmh. This car is mass produced, and Xiaomi also wants sales. So how much do you think it should sell for? 321, get on the car. Take a look at this. This is the Ultra logo. You can interpret it for him as the apple tree of a Falterbach. He is such an existence. After all, AO is a high-performance product line, so of course it has to have its own settings. Except for this, the Ultra version's logo will also turn black. So this car is actually from the appearance. It is based on Xiaomi Su7 with a series of aerodynamic hits. I don't know, what do you think it looks like this? I think I felt both a little disappointed and a little surprised. The disappointment is that this car is actually no different from plastic paint in terms of overall body posture. And so, the surprise of this car is that this whole air cave kit is incredibly well built, and you can see here, it has a giant air knife. I think this air knife is an important reason why his front face feels so impactful. The other thing you can't see is he's got an air dam underneath the chassis. Its purpose is to block our air and not form turbulence in the chassis, and then generate force. So, in fact, from the design of the whole front cavity, on the one hand, the battery dissipates heat, and then the brake dissipates heat. In addition, the turbulence blocking the chassis is basically done in place, and the air intake in the whole front is also a very big mouth style, so that the face of the plastic steam cross is directly become so big. So it's a very exaggerated aerodynamic design, but it's also functional. Let's look at the side of the mouth first. First of all, carbon fiber side skirts, latte carbon fiber rear view mirrors, and an oversized carbon fiber roof. But my guess is that these carbon fiber parts may end up being optional. But since he wants to sell cars, he must make the starting price slightly lower. And as for these carbon fiber parts that look very cool, and at the same time can definitely reduce the weight of our vehicles, they may become personalized customizations that he needs to add money to. But the whole braking system must be given to you now. Because of the weight of this car, the heat dissipation of the brakes is very important. So I felt like I wanted to guarantee a great, consistent performance output for this car. Then this set must be standard for us. First of all, it uses Pirelli P05 tires. Of course, it is a hybrid switch design. The front is 265-35 R21. The rear tire is 305-30 R21. There's a cool little detail you should have noticed. It's the brake disc of his probe. The entire brake disc of this probe has actually filled up the space inside our entire wheel hub. What about the calipers? They use the same yellow calipers with the same performance as the body. One caliper for the front six and the back four. The entire braking distance can reach 30.8 meters. This rear wing, I call it the tail that can eat instant noodles. Babies, does this rear wing look particularly strange? How about this? This is an active rear diffuser. You can manually adjust it to two gears. At the same time, it can also automatically adjust according to your speed. This is actually a car that we rarely see in the budget range of this car we can meet. So all these aerodynamic kits that we just saw give this car a downforce of 285 kilos. Isn't that a bit of a treasure trove? No, 285 kg. The tail wing of some cars can directly dry up to 285 kilograms for you. What he means by this is actually a pure version of downforce. That is, in fact, the rear wing gives about 450 kilograms of downforce to this car. So, the 285 kilos of downforce. We just said with all these aerodynamic packages is a pure downforce offer after taking all the life out of this car. So the whole thing looks pretty good. And if I may say so, I actually prefer the exterior to the interior. I think the immersion of the sense of performance and change he gave us is a little stronger. This interior has two major features. One is the use of a large area of Alcantara. The second one is to use a large area of its performance, yellow and carbon fiber decoration. You see the whole of us coming here? He's all wrapped in carbon fiber. It looks very bright and textured. Carbon fiber trim is also used here on the tray and sides. At the same time, a correction logo is added in the middle of the steering wheel. And then the other thing is, is the yellow of this performance the same as the yellow outside our car? He gave us this feeling, which I think is still good. One is the suture. There's another one, you see, which is where we are now under the leg. He didn't make us yellow on it. He's actually below us. It's only when we drive immersively that you can faintly feel this yellow. What about this other seat? He also made a woven latte flower with a yellow one in the middle here. This is written ultra. Alcantara is used on a large area, like the roof. There's also the steering wheel, which is where we often go to lie prone, including the entire middle part of the seat. There is also a position like our mobile phone. 
wireless charging panel, and the side door panel of the car. In fact, the position behind the seat of the car is also a large piece of carbon fiber. Although it is said to be Liang Gongcheng, it has no special practical significance in itself. It's more about giving us a feeling of being very happy to be in the atmosphere. Then you must pay extra for this feeling. Friends who think it's good can deduct one. And what about this car? Because this is a static display. So if we talk about data, it will feel a bit boring. But his numbers are really worth talking about. First of all, he used a three-motor system developed by Xiaomi. Natural, three motors, one motor in front of the V6S. Two, V8's motors on the back, three motors give this car a combined 1,048 horsepower. In addition, this car accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers in 1.98 seconds, and the top speed of club members is 350 kilometers per hour. And they should still be testing in Newport nonstop. So, in fact, the amount of data that this car can give you can imagine how fast it feels is really extreme. I don't think there's anything wrong with using that word on this car. And at the same time, in fact, this car uses a 93.7 degree Chiron second generation battery, which can achieve a battery life of 620 kilometers. Does it feel particularly fragmented to mention battery life on this car? I feel like I'm driving a car that breaks 100 per second. You talk to me about battery life, but the question is, this is the car Xiaomi wants to sell. So he just wants to consider how your battery life is. How is your driving comfort level? He couldn't talk about positioning it as a pure performance car concept. So this car, in fact, you can tell from the suspension that it uses a combination of a two-chamber airspin and a continuously variable damper. Then the space of his two guns can be closed. If we're on a racetrack, we can simply close a gun. A single gun makes the suspension of the entire vehicle tighter and more supported. In that city, we can use two guns and make the whole vehicle suspension more delicate. Let's make driving in the city more comfortable. So if you want more pure driving, you can directly upgrade its foot shock absorber, which is also possible. Then he will serve the track more purely. So you go through this car and he calibrates his suspension. And you could feel that he wanted to make a car that I could play on the street or on the track. At the same time as the first car of the Ultra version. I believe that Xiaomi will also have other models in the Ultra version in the future. Then you can also see his positioning in the product line of Ultra. The first is the appearance. The aerodynamic package is packed for you. The use of Ogenthal interior, the use of carbon fiber is all wrapped for you. Such a design is very powerful and the output of motor horsepower. There is also a more powerful brake system, includes a suspension that is relatively performant, but also takes into account balance. Maybe this is the way he thought about it later. We can also look forward to the follow-up of Xiaomi's SUV or the ultra version of other models that can be expected in the future because it is after all a high performance product line of its own. And finally, I want to talk to you about something. It's this car and he wants to sell it to the end. Who will pay for this car? Do you think these people who like pure fuel performance cars will like a pure electric performance car? Because it could definitely be cheaper than the performance car you dream of. But at the same time, maybe three times the performance of the pure oil performance car you dream of. The second question is if you want to sell. How much should it sell for? Thank you all for watching these calls together. I'm Joint. See you next time.